Hello guys, I'm Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Now, when we last left off, we were uh, at Tim's house, having just delivered some uh, shipments of concrete. Really hard fought for shipments of concrete. Uh, we still have just a bit more fuel in the tank and we decided we we're going to be taking the service trailer up to this uh, repair the truck task. Uh, that should be just enough fuel, hopefully. Uh, if nothing else, we can uh, grab um, our Chevrolet and get it down here. So we can cheese the fuel out of that one. That should be another 60 liters, something like that, maybe less. But either way, let's uh, activate the trailer. Uh, closer. Okay. That's interesting. Let's winch it into position, a bit closer. Okay, is that enough? Okay, why not? Oh, because it needs to be attached way under, okay. By the way, let's head out. Uh, I shouldn't have any... No, I'm not gonna say it again. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it again that we should have no issues. not jinx this yet again. But you know what? I'm gonna skip using the road here. And I'm gonna try going through this forest section. It looks a lot clearer than uh, the road. We've had not a lot of success with roads. This area, they've been relatively tough to uh, get around. Now, to be fair, we do have a repair kit in the Chevrolet, and maybe we could have tried that uh, just to save a bit of. Uh, I mean, to not even carry that service radar up there. But, uh, you know, I think the service trail was put here for exactly this reason, so uh, let's do that instead. And plus, I don't know exactly how much uh, repair we will need to be doing on the, on the truck, so this just guarantees we have everything we need. Oh, what's this watery section here? It's handbrake for a second. Uh, okay, that's pretty nasty. Let's go... Yeah, let's take a right here. I mean, this is the worst spot to take a right, I think. So let's go a bit straight and then see. Okay, no, this doesn't work. Uh, let's break up that chain. Uh, t -t -t -t. What we need here? Yeah, that didn't really do much. Hopefully, yeah, it's straight enough. I mean, I'm really worried about uh, tipping. We've had uh, a lot of tipping related accidents within the last two episodes or so, three episodes. I mean, ever, ever since we've gotten into Smithville Dam, to be fully honest. Okay, show task, uh, repair the truck. Okay, cool, so B. Uh, repair, source, service trailer, uh, target, international pay star. Nope. Well, we can repair this fight as well. And the GMC. Wow, 520 points. For sure we would not have had the required repair points in the Chevrolet's uh, little trunk mounted repair kit. Okay. Um... That's repaired. Now what? Restore. Okay, can this do start tracking? Maybe I'm missing something here. Oh, fuel status. Yeah, it needs to be fueled up as well. Uh, ugh. Ugh, yeesh. Uh, right, fuel. Am 
much does this need to be refueled? Uh, wow. Hmm. Well, we were gonna be uh, restoring, well, not restoring, right, recovering this truck anyway. Uh, okay, let's do this. Let's do that. Let's uh, drop the um, detached trailer. Let's hold up on uh, uh, recovering this yet. Let's go via the map and pick up the Chevrolet. We have some extra fuel in the Chevrolet. Oh wow, not enough. <laughs> wow, that's gonna be fun. So I need three percent fuel. I don't know how many liters that is. Uh, let's let's check it just to make sure. So V refuel. That needs another five liters of fuel. <laughs> Uh, okay. So, I need to get there within 19 liters of fuel. That's my goal. Is that possible? It may be possible. It just may be possible. That's not close, though. Okay, let's head out. Let's uh, skip on the all-wheel drive. This is downhill anyway. It whenever we need it. I don't want to end up in a situation where I have to uh, winch myself and actually save on fuel. I said uh, I should probably be wary when I get down to about 5, right? Because that's the cutoff point where we would not have enough fuel to actually fuel that and uh, complete the, the quest. And it would be kind of annoying just to get another truck out there. This section of uh, the world is definitely pretty, pretty bad to get to. Now, speaking of bad... Do you have any issues regarding height here? Okay, let's just go full burst here. because this is definitely an easier path up so that the stream carry us and there we go uh, 14 liters we have I think another 10 to spare so we'll drive off get just inch out that extra bit of fuel Of solid. I'm getting, I'm getting to something liters a second, a minute. Auto is actually getting me a bit more usage, so let's stick to a low high. That gives us enough speed and the fuel usage is decent. Oh, yeah, I can't do backwards in low. Come on. All this fidgeting is not helping me. It. I really can't afford it. This terrain is really bad. Uh, and I'm wondering if I should just go for a straight shot. If I'm gonna be wasting the fuel, I might as well waste it on terrain. It's easier to go through. And oh, 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 okay, okay. Okay, come on, 
come on. Easy does it. Jesus, this tiny little wooden pole there. What am I getting stuck on? On this little well garden thing? Yeah, well, it is concrete. Seven liters. Okay, all wheel drive off because for sure we don't need it for this section. And seven liters. And <laughs> there we go. Uh, v. Uh, refuel. The ship from the Chevrolet, the GMC. Fuel it up. Okay, yes, this day you look beautiful in my garage. Thanks a lot. You're very much welcome. Now, can you give me some uh, cans of gas? <laughs> because I am literally out of fuel here. And at the least we make sure that uh, once we drop down to zero, we don't have any emergency gas or anything. It's just done. So that being said, let's uh, recover this. Yes, map. Let's get the base star and let's recover this. And... Hmm? Do we have... What's this? Oh, uh, we should... Uh, yeah, this is one of the things we have to get back. We have to recover for the unlucky fisherman. But that's not what we're going to be doing. We still have some time. Uh, and we are going to... I was thinking about uh, doing this... Uh, getting this uh, bridge fixed up here. Uh, that requires wooden planks. And there's nothing on this map that gives me wooden planks. I think there's another warehouse somewhere up here, but I'm not going to be touching that. Um, I'm going to be taking yeah, probably the base star again. I'm going to be going back to... Um, sorry, I'm going to be going back to Black River. Actually... Yeah... I have a plan. Uh, the plan is like this, uh, get those wooden planks, uh, come back here, um, then we should be aiming to get, to do, um, what was it, Dyson Diesel, work for all sweat, I think, yeah, deliver to the quarry, uh, one concrete slab and two service uh, spare parts, and we can do that with the Fleet Star. Now we can get the concrete slabs from the um, uh, warehouse here and we can get service per parts from uh, this thing here. Uh, but, so this is like one, two. The concrete slab I think is two, so that's four. And we'll have the two wooden planks. I'm not exactly sure if that's enough. I wanna do this in one go. <laughs> I think you guys uh, figured out by this point. I wanna do this in one go. Uh, but yeah, we don't need to we don't need to grab the slab until after we deliver the, the two loads of wooden planks, right? And the wooden planks are one slot, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me double check that quickly. Um, wooden planks. Yep, they're one slot. So we need two wooden planks and two service spare parts. So that's a four load. Uh, so that's two plus trailer or semi trailer. Uh, but I'm gonna actually go with uh, probably with uh, a flatbed and something in the back and a trailer in the back just because if I am not mistaken in uh, Black River we still have a trailer here right sideboard trailer right so okay we got our solution uh, let's we'll be taking the fleet star might as well it already has a flatbed we don't need anything else in regards to it uh, let's let's actually take a sideboard bed. We don't need to do any kind of um, craning, and the extra stability would be nice. Uh, Fuel-wise, we'll be good because we'll be going via the um, via the um, same route which you used to get into this area, and we have a fuel station there. Same thing we did in Black River. We are just setting this uh, entire. Oh, 
Aha, I missed her. I missed the road here, but that's okay. Uh, I was gonna say that we're gonna be doing the same thing we did in Black River. Just uh, set up the infrastructure for us, uh, make roads usable, make it easy for us in the future. And try to get all the upgrade parts and powers set up, and then we'll worry about which tasks, tasks and what we're we gonna be doing them. I know we already did the concrete thing, but uh, that was more just to have a bit of a, a bit of action after so much scouting. And either way, this uh, gives us uh, an opportunity to actually take out the fleet star a bit more. We've been neglecting it, and uh, we have been. I mean, we did uh, upgrade this and make it pretty. For um, the anniversary episode we had a while back. Okay, let's head through here. Ow. I could have done without that hit. To be fair, if we want to do some logistics as well, uh, we should probably be taking... Oh, we can't because we don't have the... Yeah, right. I was going to say we should probably be taking the Flat Decimity Trader to the Trailer Store, but that's okay. We don't have the... The saddle for it. Just do some uh, cleanup around here because... I mean, I can understand leaving trailers around to be used, but we haven't really had any serious need of trailers in a bit. Now that you know we have access to trailer stores, we know where they are, we know what trailers we need and for what we need them. So just the randomly put around trailers aren't really helping us. But to be fair, we don't really need much cash at this point anyway. We are well, well off been lucky enough for not to get any bugs I've read on the on Reddit. People have have me having bugs with uh, you know trucks disappearing. I mean I did lose the the con but uh, I think that's more to the to the patch itself and the fact that I don't think it was possible or I shouldn't have been able to had have, have it in Michigan maybe. I don't know it doesn't really matter but again as long as I'm losing any I'm losing my fleet star, pay star or my Chevrolet I'm all happy and good and I don't have anything else right now to actually buy with the money that matters. Okay, I should probably... Oof, easy there. I should probably come down here first. Actually, we still have some things on that. Like, what, concrete, service parts? I think we have vehicle parts on that. Um, so I let me smart to just uh, take it off and sell it. I think we still have a quest to deliver some vehicle parts and haven't seen anything that actually makes vehicle parts. So it's a good thing we have this uh, these vehicle parts here available for future use. We have a task for some old man. One load of vehicle parts, and excuse me for uh, just stopping a bit more than usual, but I've uh, eaten a bit of uh, nuts and <coughs> they've been sticking in my throat. And yeah, I just realized the pun there, but oh well. So are we going via? Yeah, let's let's try going this way. I, this road, at least, no. It's I've done it enough times that I shouldn't have any issues with it. And. Yeah, let's do this road to the lumber mill. Easy there. We're in Black River, we're not in uh, Smithville Dam, we shouldn't be tipping here. And before the tipping uh, is because I'm getting overconfident. We are 
are not in the paystar. But I kind of wish I'd have uh, a better uh, gearbox for this. I could really use a low plus right now. I've heard that uh, they've done some gear changes uh, in this patch. I, given that uh, I didn't see some differences, but again, uh, it might just be me. But I thought I did uh, see some changes ever since uh, I updated the game. Differential lock sometimes doesn't really do what you expect that it would do, but sometimes it just saves you. Like right here, right now, it was uh, insane how much of a difference it was with it on versus with it off. My question is, why am I carrying this? I mean, I know I, I got this because they're going to be needing it in the next map, but why am I carrying it to the, the lumber mill? I don't need to. I could just leave it here on our on my way upwards, in a way, to um, fill it up with the service parts in uh, the next map. So let's do this. Let's make sure it's not on an incline. That should be good. So there's a trailer. Okay, it's not moving, all good. And let's continue on. I didn't need to get that trailer out of, uh, of that location. But I don't exactly need to drag it all the way from here. But it, I guess it's all fine, this is the exact route we're going to be taking. Like I ended up uh, thinking, oh, I don't need this exactly at the lumber mill. I wish the camera would be less jittery, to be honest. Sometimes it just uh, does its own thing. Uh, there is an option to switch over to the legacy camera, which is the classic uh, spin tires camera. But I always found that camera to be entirely too... I mean, it worked and it was great for when the simulation was prime thing and you actually cared about absolutely every little tiny thing under your truck. But it doesn't really seem to be the case for SnowRunners or it is a more accessible experience. And as such, you don't really need that camera or, you know, people don't know. Uh, the camera was, you know, you could actually shift it around the car and actually focus it on like different uh, sections of your car like the front wheels like the front left wheel front right wheel you know that kind of stuff that was a lot more useful when you actually cared about you know every tiny little polygon under your map but uh, snowrunner is a more casual experience i can totally admit to that or for, to me at the very least it feels like a more casual experience i'm sure mods can uh, solve that for me uh, wooden planks, right? Nothing else? Wooden planks. Yep. Give me two loads of wooden planks. And let's head back and out. We'll be refueling. Actually, should we just refuel now? No, I don't think so. It's not worth it. We can refuel in the next map. We'll just see how we get there. Probably... Well, we probably should, to be fair. Uh, I think we're going to be reaching the next map with about 150 liters left and we have a fair ways to go, let alone managing the horrible, uh, horrible uh, quarry, which we had a lot of problems last time with. And I think <laughs> we did it with the Fleet Star last time as well, right? And I swore I'll be back with the Base Star on that uh, quarry section. 
but apparently that's not happening. I mean, I can switch trucks if I really want to, but... Uh. Now, we, we started with the Fleet Star, we'll continue with the Fleet Star. I said just might as well get it out. A bit more. Star has been steam the thunder for a bit now. This is like I know Interstar and Western Star. That's a fair bit of stars here. I'm not as fully sure if this is like some real life company and naming is true to that. Um Maybe. I honestly don't know enough about industrial trucks to make that call. But it just seems like an mm, interesting naming scheme. In any case, let's grab this uh, trailer here. Let's, let's not even worry about it. Let's winch it off. Attached and that's it out. Uh, and let's switch to daytime again. I don't know why, but it always catches me. Uh, the game always catches me at night. And I think that makes it a lot harder for you guys to see what's going on. You can switch off the lights for this. station, right? I can just uh, go back to garage. Well, yeah, I can go back to garage, I have to drop this off, spawn a trailer, fuel trailer, and fill off the fuel trailer if I really want. But doesn't the service point I know that it repairs you, but does it also heal you? Well, heal, I'm sorry, repair you? Uh, sorry, uh, I wish I could talk. Uh, also refuel you, that's what I wanted to say. So, are we going the right way? Oh, we are entirely not going the wrong way. And that's exactly why I make these things. Uh, sure. There's a road there. Can I use that road to go around and back? I guess I can. But let's stick to the main paved road, though. I did notice uh, a change in steering going like... Hmm, this doesn't seem to be like the road. And yeah, these rocks are vicious. Okay, so... No, 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 no! The engine is stalled, the engine is stalled. Uh, okay. <sighs> Options. I have to get a truck here, an actual truck with a crane. Oh, this just got a lot more complicated, didn't it? Okay, let's... Uh... 
I, I just had to go the wrong route, didn't I? I just had to. I just had to. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. Let's go to... Let's go to the... Um, Smithville Dam. Let's go to the garage. Let's switch to our base star. It already has the crane and the flatbed. I don't think it, need, it needs anything else. But might, if we're doing that, might as well get the um, sideboard. No, not sideboard. The low saddle to pick up that uh, trailer that we wanted to pick up earlier. <sighs> and uh, I'm doing a lot more rescue operations than uh, I used to, aren't I? Again, I think it's uh, very confident. I'm just uh, so confident in my skills now that uh, fun can happen. I'm not uh, moving like super carefully and wondering uh, what's around the next corner anymore. Flip side, I can totally fuel the truck from this truck. And yeah, we are leaving from the Smithfield gar uh, garage just because it's closer than the garage in Black River. Slightly up the road. There we go. I can see my hulking wreckage from here. Okay, first things first, let's uh, pull this out. Uh, should I try flipping it over first? Yeah, I guess that makes more sense. Stop. Let's use the rear winch position here. Uh, oh, I cannot winch onto the carrier. Interesting. Okay, that got that one up. Let's raise the winch. Actually, let's uh, pull this back a bit. Get this on the road for anything else. Let's raise the winch. Let's switch over to it. And let's do a pack cargo. Uh, let's stop the engine. Get back to the pace star. <laughs> wow. Is that a flat tire? Did we. F oh wow, we finally got a flat tire. That's fantastic. Okay. Uh, thankfully we have more tires, and we don't really have much more that we need to do here. But wow, that's our first flat, and it was in such a weird way, to be honest. Okay, that's, this should be pretty solid. Let's activate the anchor, let's uh, crane mode. That's not too far. Hmm. 
Oh, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. So there is a max limit, so I have to go closer so I can lift this higher. Right, 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 right. And... Okay, and now if we're, if we're gonna be doing this, going forward, it will drop it automatically. Well, not automatically, I think hydraulically and horribly. And... Oh... Actually, yeah, you know what? It's fine. I kind of would have wanted to put this in the... Um, in the front there, but I guess it's fine. Okay, let's... Okay, that's perfect. Let's stop this engine. Switch over to the Fleet Star. Uh, did it just... Yeah, it did just... Oh, gods. Uh, this is annoying. I mean, there's, there are options. I can detach the trailer. I can move this here. Stop this, guy, this thing's engine. And break on. Move over to base star. Out of this muck. Trailer to this. The whole point is so I can be able to pack without switching the uh, pack the cargo without switching the, um, the trucks. Apparently, that's the problem. Maybe maybe I shouldn't do it via the map because that actually refreshes it or something. Maybe I should just do it like in inside the actual interface with V, with functions. This, this seems solid. Train mode. And yeah, we have a problem here just because we have that high ridge. But let's hope we can go past it without any issues. a bit more, but I don't think that works. Okay, phew, perfect. Okay, let's lower this down. Let's escape V. Pack the cargo. Let's restore the crane. And let's uh, put this in a position that's going to be easily doable by its star. Detach, that's enough. That's good enough. Stop the engine, handbrake, map, fleet star, and let's grab this. And we're here, might as well refuel from the pay star to this. Okay. Back on the road. All of this was just because I took a right instead of taking a left. Ish. And let's hope we don't tip anyone. I mean, we always tipped in situations where, honestly, I don't think we tip it didn't seem that dangerous. I 
any case, this is um This is this done. I think uh, this is a good stopping off point for uh, getting a bit long in the tooth here. So, for the continuation of this uh, wild adventure, uh, I will see you guys in the next one. If you like this episode, please like, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. It really helps me out, especially seeing uh, you guys enjoying the content. And this was Cosmo, I'll see you guys in the next one.